which is slightly off kilter and angled down. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as always, if you're watching these and you're enjoying them, please um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or like the Facebook page, um, please share with your friends. So, we continue this week with the underlying themes of exiting your hero. Um, and in particular today, we looked at ways of changing the direction of the hero, adding in ultra guitars, and then Added in a Colgardery Calcita Baleo fin. Yes. <laughs> um, which is. Maybe we should just give big things names. Yes. Be like, we invented this. <laughs> well, we didn't. No, I don't. Um, so, we start, uh, if you want to learn how to do the hero, uh, check out tutorial series one or two, it's in there. Um, but for all potential purposes, we were sticking to the uh, usual pattern for the follower alternating side steps with forward steps and uh, back steps, or alternating forward steps and back steps, which we call the pivot phases because of the pivots in them. So from our usual hero, which we can now do in close or opening race, we survive to start off with doing them in close because the follower has less far to So we're taking a side step, say to the left, I'm twisting my chest, the follower's doing the forward step around me, pivot to the round, back step, pivot to the round, doing the back step. So this is our basic hero. Because we've got these pivots, these look very similar to Ocho's. So if I take my forward step phrase, where she's forward stepping and she's pivoting, it's important that she always closes her feet together. If she rushes and steps into the side step, she, we lose some of this communication, some of the connection. So she wants to keep the feet together until I lead her either to take the side step or I pivot her a bit more and suddenly she's into an Ocho and can come out and do some ochos, take her through and then continue the hero. Or what we can do is if I take her through to the ocho, is now to start rotating the other direction, she's got a side step, back step, and we've suddenly changed the direction of our hero, and of course we can change it back to the other direction as well. We can also do this with the back step phase as well, but this time we come out into back ochos, so we can change where we want to go with either forward ochos or back ochos. This now leads into some interesting discussions we can have. So one is if we want to try and change it in the sidestep phase. So here she's on the forward step, take her to the sidestep, we can sink her down slightly and bring her back and go in the other direction. And you can even do it from this direction as well, sinking here. But if you just analyse what Alison just did then, she stepped forward with her left foot, she went into the side, and stepped to the side, sinking it down before coming back and going in the opposite direction. That seems very similar to the stuff you can do in Ocho Catarda, which means you can also do Ocho Catardas from this sort of idea. So if uh, Alison is, let's say, Go into uh, an anti clockwise hero, you can pivot her around into the option, take it to the side, sink her down, and then we've got her in basically the cut part of the option, ready to go into the cross, and we can pivot her out, keep going, do another one, we can walk out, so we can do Ocho Guitardas in the hero. And this sort of cuts the momentum because we are sinking that side step down. Again, you can cover Ocho Catardas in our tutorial series, and that is in tutorial series one. However, once we want to try and continue the momentum, so I'm going to come away slightly from the wall, because what we're going to do is take this into a colgada. Colgada meaning to hang away, it's where we part the top, um, considered an advanced moving tango. What we're going to do is, again, if we've got the anti-clockwise hero, we're going to take her around with the forward Ocho, as she comes into the side step, I'm going to block her left foot with my right foot. I'm going to take her into a baleo motion, which again, she would normally be trying to do the back step phase of the hero, which is similar to a baleo without raising the foot. So I'm going to twist her back as if she was going to go into the hero and lift my chest, which sends that leg up. 
if I do this with enough momentum and allow my brace to flex, she'll start leaning away from me. If I want to get the lean, at the moment I am secure with my foot at the back. If I move my foot into a sandwich position, because of this rotation I'm giving her, we'll actually start pivoting around. I can step back and out the way, and this causes my follower to step through, and we can come back into another hero. I can do it again if I so wish, so I can pivot her around, send her up and around. Or what I could even do is actually stay in that sandwich position and put her into a Carl Sita. We do this in our demos all the time, we suggest probably check out some of those. So that's another interesting exit for the hero. Wouldn't recommend doing them in the crowded melodies. Um, and obviously there's below technique involved in that as well. Anyway, we want to thank you for watching. We hope you're staying safe. We hope you want to be inspired by these videos to come to the class and where we can go into more detail. Obviously this video can't really cover all the details we've covered as far as technique is concerned. Anyway, please keep yourself safe, please keep your family safe, and we hope to see you again soon, very soon. Thank you for watching this Urban Tango Nights recap. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the logo. You can find more of our class summaries down here and other videos of us dancing tango over here. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Meta. Links are in the description below. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter using the link below.